Installing Node.js on Ubuntu. There are a few different ways you can install Node.js. Um, you can download the, the tar file from their website. And there's a way to do it through the through an app get install. Um, but the best way to do it is the node version manager and this will allow you to easily switch between versions um, so I, that's why I think it's the best way to, to go so so install the build essential first And then next, uh, install the lib SSL dev library. Next, you download the the actual NB NVM package. Um, so actually, go to their GitHub page first, and then go to releases and check the latest stable version which it looks like that would be this one 31.2 um, so you can see this this link is out of date it has the older version 31 so just change that so it's 31.2 and then this will uh, download the code and then run the um, the installation bash script, script. And then run the command to start the NVM node version manager. Then you need to uh, close and reopen the terminal. So once you have a new terminal open, if you run that command, uh, it should output NVM, which indicates that it's worked. And then you can decide which version of Node you want to install. Um, so if you go to the Node.js page, and then normally you'd want to go with the LTS version. This is the the long-term version which is more stable this is like the cutting edge features um, so if you're building an app that you expect to maintain over time usually you would go with the more stable version so you net you then need to install the version you want to use So this will install version 4.4.7. And then, so you can install multiple versions of Node, and then you can just switch between them. So whenever you want to switch to a new version that you already have installed, just do nvm use, and then the version number. Um, and then you can go ahead and set that to the default version. So you'll pick whatever version you normally use. But this is good for easily being able to test different versions if needed. Um, I, I guess certain apps may require an older version to, or have, have bugs that only occur in certain versions. So this makes it really easy to switch between whichever version you need without having to uninstall Node.js completely from your system.